Well, today we are going on a tour of the Capitol building of Puerto Rico here in San Juan. So it should be interesting, first time we've been here. And uh, so, uh, hope you enjoy the tour. Here's the Puerto Rican capital. Probably can't hear this because of all the wind, but uh, it's a beautiful location here, just right on the on the ocean, right in the sort of the entrance to Old San Juan. This is, you can't really see it here. This is uh, the uh, the Castillo de San Cristobal castle here, and uh, we're gonna go in for a tour. Rockin' and rollin' North Atlantic here. Well, not really North Atlantic, but uh, north side of the island, the Atlantic Ocean. And looks like this is the front side, it's around the back side. Is the uh, the Senate Annex? I am going into you know the Senate entrance here. That's what she said. Now I just wait for the people from the tourist office to come and collect me. Construction of the Puerto Rico Capitol building began in 1921, and it was inaugurated in 1929. It contains two chambers, with the Senate on one side and the House of Representatives on the other. It is the first capital in the U.S. to be covered in marble on both the inside and outside. Normally, when you enter the building and go to the rotunda, you can look up 80 feet to see a glass mosaic of the Puerto Rican coat of arms. Unfortunately, during my visit, the rotunda was filled with scaffolding, as was the outside of the rotunda, as repairs are underway. Surrounding the coat of arms are mosaics of the 12 muses. There are another four mosaics on the rotunda arcs depicting Puerto Rican history. One represents the discovery of Puerto Rico, another the colonization by the Spaniards, the third the autonomous movement of 1857, and the last the abolition of slavery in Puerto Rico. I was told there are six million tiles in the mosaics. There are 12 rose marble columns that support the second floor. During my tour, we got to visit the green or house chamber. The tour took about 30 minutes and was free. You can also visit the building on an unguided tour. The building is open on weekdays. <music> Thank you. 
tour, I visit some of the statues and monuments that surround the building. I think here are uh, statues of the United States presidents that have visited Puerto Rico. Right across from the, the Capitol. This is a statue of uh, memory of all those who have uh, been killed in action or died in service in Puerto Rico during the World War and to commemorate the part taken by the island, the defense of the nation. Must be, uh, World, that's World War I because this was built in uh, 1927. This is called the uh, Paseo de los Presidentes. So this is the uh, the Holocaust Memorial here in San Juan. It's uh, built in uh, 2012, along with a ancillary massacre, the Lod massacre. Time capsule here, 2012. I don't know about the Lod massacre. Uh, from uh, May 30th, uh, 1972. So, uh, among those people who were killed during that were uh, the group of Puerto Ricans who were making a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. This is the uh, main Holocaust. Talking about Crystal Knock, Rise of the Nazi party, deportation, definitely this is the Holocaust Memorial here. So this is the backside of the war memorial and it includes uh, not just the First World War but uh, other wars. So it starts with the First World War, Banana Wars, Korean War. Wow, really, wow. Vietnam War, quite a lot of people here. Persian Gulf War, Somalia, Iraq conflict, whoa, and Afghanistan. Across from the Capitol, here's a monument to the uh, the teachers of Puerto Rico, the Plaza del Maestro, and some of the famous teachers here. And this monument honors the police officers who have died in the line of duty. Well, I hope you liked today's tour of the capital here in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And um, until next time, your suitcase always be messy. And uh, don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified of when I'm new videos. Awesome.